And we are live. So no funny jokes. No. There we go. Hi. Oh, nobody's watching. I haven't got any friends, Louise. Come on. Who's going to be my first friend for the day? Let's see. Anybody? There we go. Kylie's my first friend for the day. Hi, Kylie. We thought everyone was sick of you. Oh, everyone is sick of me, I'm sure. But that's okay. That's fine. Oh, Judy. Oh, hi, Mum. We missed you last weekend at retreat. Hello, Michelle. Hello, Vicky. All right. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So I have, hey, Karen. Hey, Jackie. And another Karen. Karen with a Y. Karen with an E. Um... Okay, I'm going to be working in my junk journal. Um, I thought that I would do a page in my little junk journal here. Um, just hopefully it's a quick one. I've got a bit of an idea in mind. In fact, I've got a damn splendid idea in mind. But it just has to get out of my head and onto paper because that's the thing. So this is my Scrap Effects junk journal. This is the limited edition one. Um, I talk about these all the time and I bang on about them all the time, but they are fantastic because it pushes you out of your comfort zone. And that is really, really important to me. So uh, this is one of the, this is the front cover of my book. And the front cover here is using the AB Studios chipboard doors. So this is one of their chipboard doors, which are available online. And I'll bring it up to calendar, up to calendar camera um, so that you can see a little bit more detail on what I have done with that door and how easy they are to put together so um, very very cool effect so what these uh, junk journals are all about is um, using different surfaces and challenging you to create things with different surfaces so this is the limited edition journal that I'm flicking through now um, the so it's got a manila folder for the front cover which I have then cut up it's got a black page it's got some heavy denim some music music paper it's got a beautiful cutout here as you can see paper bags tags books some graph paper so it's got quite a few bits and pieces in it. I'm going to be creating on this page today. So what my idea was is we have got in stock these really awesome transparencies from Scrap Effects. And I wanted to use these windows here and wanted to, I want to cut out, I want to do a bit of a cutout sort of thing going on. So before, before I was on, before I went live, I had a bit of a think about how I could make it work and how I could trace these onto here and cut out the perfect shape. And what I decided to do is I quickly just ran off a quick photocopy of the transparency went like that and as you can see I used my upcycled newspaper earth greetings pencil watch the previous video to understand that and the printout I just kind of traced the lines rubbed them out and it left a bit of a mark here so that is what I'm going to cut out so while I'm doing that hopefully this works beautifully in theory it does okay if not we'll just turn the page and start again um, I've got my self healing mat in under here and I'm just going to cut out these windows so I'm just doing it on the reverse um, okay so as I have mentioned in my other two live Facebooks today uh, this weekend is the picture to page peninsula show so for you guys what that means is I'm going to use a ruler is 
that you get to see me live on Facebook today oh. and tomorrow a lot. Yeah, I know. It's a lot for everyone, isn't it? It's a lot for me. It's a, it's a lot. It's a lot. Anyway, um, but I get to give you some free little mini classes, right? That's the best thing. I am going to, I've also got discounts online for you as well. So what that means is you've got 15% off of stamps and stencils for today and tomorrow, plus 15% off Christmas things, 15% off patterned paper, oh, and 15% off alcohol inks, which is super exciting. Christmas, 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 Christmas. Please buy the Christmas things um, because I don't want Christmassy things left in January. Um, and I can't talk and cut. So we're making the most of Christmas. So in saying that, you can also purchase online, which somebody has done in the last half an hour, you can purchase a gift card. So if you have a crafty friend who wants, who you think deserves, I mean, we all deserve, who you would like to gift a $10, a $20, $100, $50 gift card to, then you can do that. You can buy a gift card online. Love that idea. Okay, so the knife that I'm using here, this is my Ulfa craft knife. We have these back in stock again. They have been a little bit popular. And it's like holding a knife when you, um, you know, you're cutting up your steak. They're really, really easy to use and they're really sturdy. Hi, Amanda. You enjoyed your alcohol special for breakfast. Oh, that's nice, doll. <laughs> I, I could comment further on that, but I'm choosing not to. Okay. Hopefully that worked. Oh, it did. It did. Oh, oh, oh. Yep. Oh. Look at that. Okay. This is this will be the thing. This will be the clincher. Will it line up? Oh, sh look at that. Look at that, Louise. I knocked... Oh, I did it. Fluked it. Okay, so can you see what's going on there? All right, Karen, if you need me to um, message your family, darling, or send them a lovely voice message on Facebook Messenger, I'm your girl. I can help you out. All right, so um, that's... So you see what I've done there? We've traced those, and I'm going to stick that behind there. But before I do that, I want to add some paint to my background. So I'm going to pop that aside. Hello, Judith. Thank you, Judith, for coming in yesterday and helping us unpack our scrap it. Was it the scrap effects order that came through? We're very grateful for your help. She left a few items. You did leave a few items for everybody else, which was kind of nice. Okay. So I'm just popping some paper towel in under here uh, because it's what I've got handy. But, or I would, oh, that didn't work. Or I would normally use a, um, some, what do you call it? Baking paper will also work. Just giving myself a bit of overflow area because I'm going to use my brayer and some acrylic paint to whack on some colour. So I'm going to get these guys out of the way. All right. Now, see how this is kind of flapping around? It's annoying the absolute life out of me. So what I will do is I need to get a bulldog clip and tape that down. A bulldog clip is something I'm very familiar with. With a house full of bulldogs. Is there any in here? No. No, you let her out? Oh, good, good. Okay, so I'm just going to clip that there like that. All right, so let's talk paint. What I'm going to do next is work with some Dina Wakeley and some Dilutions paints and 
I have a, you can either use um, a paint palette, which looks like this, the Montmartre Tear Off Paint Palette. These are super inexpensive. And you can use one of these if you have one. If not, jump online because you can get them from me. Look in the tools section. Um, but they're a tear off paint palette. So the idea is, is if you don't have a mat down here or you don't want to get it dirty, then you can get rid of that. Um, what I've got into the habit of doing recently is I have got one of my art journals and I have got all of these pages ready to go for when I decide I want to make something. So I'm going to pop that to the side here. And right. I'm going to start off with some mineral and the brayer that I put somewhere safe. Okay, so what a brayer is going to do is enable me to spread the paint around. Now, I've got some gold on my brayer still. Um, that was not intentional, but hey, let's go with it. So what the brayer does is it spreads the paint around um, and it gives me a really different sort of finish. So instead of using the traditional tools, then it's it's allowing me to spread it around a little different. Um, I also want to have a look here about some of the colours I've got in that transparency in those windows, all right? Because I want the windows to stand out. So next colour I'm going to go with is... I don't know. Blue Lagoon. So rolling it out in my journal first. And then taking it up over my pages. And because I've got my um, paper down in the background, I can roll over my cut out windows that I've done there and roll out over the edges so it goes right to the edges. Um, I now want to add something with a bit more depth. I want to go for, I don't want to say like a, a gothic steampunky sort of look, but I'm going to, I want a bit more depth as I go. So you see I've started with the light colour and I'm working dark. So I started with mineral, then I used that Blue that the name I've forgotten already. Now I have marine. And the, the brayer, I'm only really lightly brushing and touching the area so that it is picking up the paint and laying it down across the page exactly where I want it to go. But it is a super quick and easy way of getting colour onto your page. All right, so that's with marine, mineral and whatever colour I said that was, Calypso Teal. Um, next, next, next. I just want to get a little bit of paint down in this gap. So I'm going to pick up my Dina half inch Dina Wakely brush and just picking it up off the palette. So I use some um, Dina Wakely washi tape over over this edge just to to put my pages together so that they don't move because it is a loose leaf junk journal. I needed the colours, uh, I needed the pages to stay together, otherwise um, as I roll over the top they would disappear. And that's boring. You know what I didn't pick up before I started? Any stamps. Okay, let me think about this. Um, what have I got handy? I have got handy, not very much, but we'll go with what I've got here. Um, and I know I have got my grid stamp. Uh, 
All right, no, I don't. So that's okay. So what I'm gonna do is I've got the, this is the little stamp from Uniquely Creative, which is one of the number stamps. So I'm just gonna use some black archival ink. I don't want too much stamping. I just want a little, a little something, something going on. There's a little bit of interest in the background, a little bit of, oh, what's going on there? So this technique of getting paint onto a project works fantastic with everything from scrapbook pages to card fronts. You can use this technique for just about anything and it puts on a really, really lovely finish onto your pages. So Abrea is a super inexpensive tool that you can definitely add. Um, all right, so I have here some of the Scrap FX foam stamps. We got a, a big collection in yesterday, a big order in. So I've got the big clock, I've got some cogs, and I've got some cogs. I might go with this guy. So this is called Clock Face Stamp, original. Um, and stamps and stencils, like I said, are 15% off this weekend. Um, hey, Louise, in the bottom drawer of my trolley, your trolley, our trolley, can you grab me the tube of gold Reeves paint, please? That one right there, perfect. Thank you. So what I wanna do with this is I've got some gold Reeves paint. So this is available online. Um, it's a little, uh, it's a little inexpensive tube. I've got a big tube here, uh, but we do have the small ones. So what I want to do is I want to put some paint there. So with these stamps, the way the foam stamps work is they are already on a piece of acrylic. So that is fantastic. I want to add some stamping around my the edge of my page um, to go with my Gothic windows. I'm going to use it, I'm gonna bray out my paint like that. I'm going to then dip my clock into it and then transfer that straight onto my page. Oh, yes. Sorry guys, a little bit excited about that. But that's okay. Oh. So that is a really easy, cool way of using the Scrap FX stencils and, sorry, the Scrap FX foam stamps. You could also do it like this. That will work just as well. Where am I going to put that? Down there. Okay, so nice and simple. Um, and how do you clean it? With a baby wipe. How do you clean everything? With a baby wipe. Gently with a baby wipe. You don't want it to fall apart. But that is a gorgeous, gorgeous stamp. Um, so if you are looking at the cogs, so cogs would have also been amazing. If I had put cogs down there, in fact, that probably would have looked better, but you know what, I've committed to it. You could use it as a hole on the plastic like this, or there's absolutely no reason why I couldn't cut those out. So same as these ones here, although it's four cogs, I would actually cut that up because you could, this plastic is super thin. You could easily just cut that up and put that on. Um, all right, so... What is next? I'm going to, and that's almost dry, which is which is even better. I'm just gonna clean off my brayer onto the edges of my page. Like so. And then I'm gonna put my book aside because I just don't need that for the next part. All right. 
So what are we up to now? So now I'm gonna take this. So this is the transparency that I cut out before. So I want to now pop that behind there. So just bear with me a second while I clip this down. And I'm going to use the red wonder tape. I'm going to use this one because it has got strength to it, as you know. Uh, and I'm going to come in nice and close to where I cut. Scissors. And hopefully... Oh, look at that. Nailed it. Nailed it. Right, there we go. This one, poor, oh, not so much. But I do have, I think, you know what I'll do? I'm gonna cut that. So that one goes there. And this, I'm using the heavy duty tape because it is my art journal. And my art journal, Oh, who knew that I could do that? Uh, my art journal usually takes a little bit more of a beating. Oh, I didn't know that I could tear it like that. All right, then I'm gonna use this bit and I'm gonna need to go around that arch. No, I'm not gonna go around the arch, that's ridiculous. But I need to go across the top of them Just chat amongst yourselves while I make a mess of this. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to do an art page, art journal page tonight, a painty one um, with picture to page. So if you jump over to their Facebook page at, I think it's 8 p.m. It's a bit of a late one. It's a bit of a gin and tonic session, I reckon, girls. What do you think? Um, so that is happening tonight. And I'm going to have a bit of a chat with Michelle and the team at Picture to Page uh, about what's happening in the shop and all of those really cool things. Okay, so before I stick anything down, I'm sorry, before I expose the back of my tape, I'm going to take this guy and I'm going to have a look and make sure that I'm going to line it up correctly. And I'm going to start from the inside and expose that one. Because the red line, the red tape is a little on the unforgiving side, or a lot on the unforgiving side as the case may be, and for me to be able to actually line this up properly, I need to take my time with it. And for some reason I can't talk at the same time as concentrate. So there we go. Let's try that. Yeah, that'll work. All right. So now I can go around and expose all my tape and just let it fall as it will and hope that it's lined up. I hope everybody's got all of their um, digits crossed for me because I'm winging it. So this would work amazing in a bigger art journal. It would work amazing in your smaller little art journal with just one window. 
you just need to work out the best way of transferring the image to the back so that you can cut it out, out nicely. So for me, I just ran off a quick photocopy so that I had the carbon showing. Uh, so it was still wet and then did it like a pencil rub on the back. Oh, fingers crossed that I've lined this up. Oh, it worked, guys. All right. Paper towel coming out of my ears. So then the question is going to be... Natalie, what do you put on that side? Well, a couple of things I can do. I can just leave it like that, or I could stick a piece of white paper over the top of it. Um, I can paint around this area and then turn that into another page, which is probably what I will do. This little bit of red tape is on here still just to make sure that it's all stuck down nicely. Um, but that is the whole concept of doing it. I really quite like the idea of the the page the next page which is the book paper coming through so I'm just going to leave that there what I'm going to do now is add some Pintor paint pen so this is the fine in the black so we've just had a massive restock so Tracy if you are watching go okay those ones that you ordered have all come in in the last 15 minutes so they've just all been uploaded to the website um, the fine in the black, the super fine, or the extra fine in the black and white. What else came in? The broad markers have come back into stock. And, oh gosh, here we go. And um, some of the other colours that were out of stock previously have come back in as well. And they're only $5, so they are one of the most pigmented markers on the market paint pens on the market so if you are a connoisseur of the posca or some of the other brands that are around at the moment then you will be very familiar with paint pens and how they work um, i've been using these paint pens for what feels like 100 years in my crafting i have a nice little collection of liquitex and posca and uh, what's another brand? Life of Colour. Um, quite a quite a collection. And I have found that these seem to be the ones that work every single time I pick it up. Unless someone's watching and then it never works. Um, but, and they, they seem to be a lot more pigmented. The white is a lot whiter. If that makes sense. Whiter than whiter than white blacker than black does it get any blacker yes yes it does and it bloody well stays black which is kind of nice all right so just creating those lovely little frames on there and what i have here is men in black so what men in black is all about Gee, I made that hard to know. Oh, for goodness sakes. There we go. All right. So I've got the boys here. So the boys could be leaning on something. Man with hands in pocket. I quite like the, um, the simple shapes. More man with hand in pockets. You can turn them around. They can face either way. Okay. Let's go back to this guy. Look, if I'd lined that up, if I'd thought about this before. No. Okay, enough of that. So... I'm going to use this guy and I'm going to pop him here um, and I'm going to stick down something else first. No, no I'm not because I haven't got anything handy. So 
because I was mildly unprepared. But what I might do is I'm going to use it this again, but I might put a proper darker colour in underneath. So I'm going to go for some night. So night is that awesome colour, that Dina Wakely colour that is that universal navy blue that goes with a, with a little bit of everything. So this time I'm just going to do a, a squirt onto my book on the side of the page there. Roll that out. It does give a much nicer finish if I do it like that. Does anybody else create with a whopping great big bloody mess as well? I have just got stuff from ear to ear here and I don't have a big area to craft in and Louise has given me a little table. Actually, no, she didn't. I can't blame her. I can actually, because she's just walked out the room. Um, <laughs> but there we go. Stuff it, let's stick it on there. And I just take the excess paint off that. Okay. Nearly finished. Let's whack this guy on here. Whack this guy on here. Not correct wording, but we'll give it a go. And I want him facing this way. He's got to be facing that way because I need him to be, it's about, all about body language. Um, it's positive and negative. So even in my art journaling, you need to make sure that things are facing the right way. Um, and I'm wanting to use puzzle glue, not gel medium, because I don't want him to be shiny. Okay? He's not a shiny man. Oh, there we go. Whack him on there. Um, all right. So now I need a bit of a phrase going on. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of... How am I going for time? Yeah, I'm doing all right. Look at that. Half an hour winning uh i've got my stabilo pencil and i have one in navy here somewhere but i can't find it in my stash so i'm going with the black stabilo and a very full pencil sharpener but so the stabilo is your water soluble pencil okay so that just solved that problem um, so your water soluble pencil that stays black and that's what is really important um, That's better. Look at that beautiful and sharp So what I need to do before I use this is have some water handy and a paintbrush That one will do and I want to give him a bit of a shadow going on He needs a bit of a shadow. So straight in here with the stabilo then a wet brush to activate like so um, had a big restock of the Dina Wakely paintbrushes in too guys um, and the something else that someone's asked me for the other day was the oh um, tiny attacher staples they're back in stock All right, I'll bring that up to camera so you can see exactly how that pencil looks. And see how it's created that shadow that sits on the side of him? And it's only gonna be on one side, I don't want it on both, because that just is not how shadows work. Okay, 
but I love the Stibulo pencil for doing that. Alrighty. Need a phrase. Someone come at me with a phrase. Yep, Sandra, you're going to have to watch the replay to catch up because you've got no idea how I made this magic happen, babes. But the good thing is um, you can jump on YouTube to Natalie May Scrapbook Ideas and you can go back and watch any of the YouTubes that I have done. Um, sorry, the live Facebooks. We put them all up online. So, um, all right, I can't think of any words. So what I'm going to do is I've got a black pen here and I'm just going to start with some unnecessary scribble and let's bring that back down into the screen and it just becomes a little bit of a what's it called As asymmetric um a, a, no can't think of it but I've got my windows here all um, outlined and ready to go. A semic, a semic writing. Um, right, let's come up with a great title. Let's come up with something amazing. Let's go with um, on the outside looking in. Oh, okay. That'll work. Ooh, shadows of time. Oh, you guys are good. Where are you when I can never think of something, hey? Well, actually, we usually here. This is about the most crafting I'm getting done at the moment. I've just had an order today of some brand new products which will be released on Tuesday from an Australian company and I'll be doing a kit with that. So hopefully next week I'll be able to do some creating for me. Hi Madge, how you going darling? Miss your face. You'll be happy to know classes are going to start up again next year. Natalie May scrapbooking head, head office. All right. gonna bring it up to camera mind you it looks like booking doesn't it because of that where that goes in but you know I know what it says alrighty so let me talk you through the quick steps that I did to create this page I'm not going to add any more for today I'm going to keep my window here so I could put a white page behind it so that you could see but what I did is I'm using my scrap effects junk journal uh, I love this journal I took the transparency from Scrap Effects and I actually just ran it through my photocopier and then traced, did a bit of an outline of where I was going to. So a pencil drew on the back of the page where I was going to cut. And because it was a fresh photocopy, it actually left like ink marks where I drew the pencil. So it gave me a little bit of a guide. I then used my Ulfa craft knife, my, um, favorite knife with a nice fresh snapped off blade for those of you who do have one of these or you're looking at purchasing it the way that you snap off a blade is you've got this bit here that comes off and it's got a little slot in it so you put your blade in the slot like that and you just snap it clean off okay and it gives you a beautiful fresh blade on the angle that it needs to be so really really easy to use um, so I cut those out. I then stuck the transparencies on the back with my red tape and, oh, I brayed it first, didn't I? So I used my brayer and the paint. So the brayer is one of these guys with a combination of gray, blue, marine, and a bit of, oh, a bit of gold as well. Um, used the foam stamp from Scrap Effects, wherever that is. Lost it. Totally lost it. Goodness sakes, what have I done with it? Oh, here it is. Use the foam stamp from Scrap Effects, which comes on 
the clear plastic. So just use the paint and the brayer to put it on straight onto there. Absolutely easy. Um, the cogs would have looked amazing as well that I pulled out before. They would look fantastic. I uh, use my Pintor paint pen. Uh, it needs some white in there somewhere. I'm just looking at it now going, oh, I like it, but it's missing a little bit of a white. White and black give dimension, yeah? So the white paint pen, which all I've done is just given it a little shake here, and I'm really lightly touching around my windows. Just to give it a little bit of a pop. Um, Okay, so this is the journal that I'm using here. This is the Scrap Effects Limited Edition journal. So this is the journal that has, with a manila folder on the front, which I then cut up to make two pages. So it's got manila folder, it's got black paper, it's got heavy denim, which scares the life out of me, FYI. Um, music paper, it's got this gorgeous cutout, it's got a paper bag cut out tag, graph paper, do, 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 do. what else we got? Book paper, there's the back of the tag. The other cut out that it's got is this one here. So they're really awesome, awesome journals. In fact, I've just opened the um, construction one. So I've been using this one for a while. This is the lace one, so it's got that lace cut out. And it's got the transparency pages. You guys have seen this one to death. Um, I can't find it in the mess. Okay. Um, the journal that I just did a brayer, I did the brayering off in, is a really, really old one that I've had since the Middle Ages. Um, I just had a spare one sitting around that I just decided that I haven't been doing any creating in. I've just, it just sat on the shelf. Um, and it hasn't been doing anything, but it's just an old square journal. Nothing fancy at all. Um, so yes, back to the page. I then used one of our uh, man silhouettes to stick on there. Black pen around the outline. Um, yeah, Sandra, the cover with the doors. Um, I talked about this at the beginning. These are the AB Studios doors where you can build the doors to look like anything that you want. So I painted the individual pieces. On the website, they don't look very exciting. They look really a bit, you know, a bit ho-hum. Uh, but I decided to build it, build it very similar. This is very similar to what AB Studios did where they put one of the little people on it. Um, and I thought that was great. Um, put a doorknob on it myself. Um, bit of heat embossing and stamping on there, but they look really, really clever. Hey Paige, how are you going? Um, but yeah, you're right. They, not many people have actually used them on a project, so that's why I wanted to put them on the front cover of my journal to show how awesome they look. And I just used um, some gel medium to stick them all together, and they came up looking pretty great. A bit of um, embossing powder on there as well. Nothing fancy. Love it. Anyway, so that's it. I'm going to do a... Um, I'll take a photo of this and upload it and link to the photos, link to the products that I have used. Um, I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Thank you very much. That is my third live Facebook for today. I have one more to go, which will be a art journal page tonight. Uh, and you will find that happening at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time um, over on the picture to page facebook page not on mine uh but i will share it with you guys later and i hope you're all having an amazing day wash your hands kiss your kids wear a mask um do the things and i hope you're all doing great um jump online support this lovely little business um because you know how much i appreciate you guys um and nataliemay.com.au love you later guys